Kendall, just uh, one minute here. I don't know if you've been asked this before, but having Beckett Wales, you know, as a teacher and then seeing him go out, how important was it for you to keep things going and not have the veteran be missed as much? Well, I didn't want to give Coach McDonald any doubt in the tight end position because I know we're, we're kind of slim to travel for. And I know Beckett is a big part of our offense. He had like 35 catches last year. I'm not sure if he had a touchdown. But him playing as a true freshman definitely edged his game, and I was just ready to step up. When you get your first career catch and your first career touchdown in the first game, what did it mean to you? It meant a lot. It definitely altered my perception of my future because now I'm thinking <laughs> that I could get more, maybe. And, and that's what I'm trying to do for the moon now. As far as the offense is right now, with having Drew Allen out there and then also Terrell Hunt getting some time, how comfortable are you with, I mean, obviously you, you saw the comfort with Drew Allen. We saw that on the field. But with Terrell, do you have a lot oh, yeah, of pressure with him? Terrell, our friends, we hang out outside of football and everything. So when, he, when Terrell gets in the game, it's like a mutual thing. Like we know, like today we had a little incident where I didn't sit on the route. And like we just talked about it. Like we got it. We fixed it right away, though. And uh, any jitters for you when you were in that game? It didn't shell. But were there any nerves going yeah, in there? of course. Every, every like, every, go to something new, it's always going to be nerves that goes along with it. I had um, my first play, I had a run block, I had to block out on the linebacker, and after I got contact with him, I'm like, all right, it's time to play ball now and get that ball. When you see that Northwestern defense, and obviously Syracuse struggled offensively, for you to score on that, what was it like to go onto the sideline, and what type of response did you get from the guys because you were one of the highlights of the offense? Well, I got a lot of good responses. They were just, um, just congratulations on my first take down of the but I just felt like I could do more. I wanted to get back out there and get another chance at it. But I, mean, like, I had short term memory. I just forgot about that first half or that first touchdown, and I wanted to keep going at it. Relationship with Josh Paris, who's been another guy that's been out there. Josh Paris is like my big brother. He's like the funniest out of the tight end, one of the funniest on the team, but he helped me in everything, every aspect of the game. And what are you working on the most right now? Because we know that you can catch the ball. Is it the blocking side of it? Uh, I think I can block good. That's my speed. Is every day. I want to be able to go for deep routes. And my stamina, I want to be able to be like a deep fit too. Having this first home game in the Carrier Dome, Scott Schaefer talked about how important it is to you guys. What are your thoughts and feelings going into the Dome? Uh, it's, it's definitely a different feel because we're playing in front of people that we know, like my classmates and everything. And I know they can be the hardest critics sometimes. But it's just a different feeling. I've never played in the Dome. And I know like, the temperature and everything in the community is crazy. And it's just going to be good to play in front of my whole town.